Hey guys, welcome to Trending Reviews. So I've just recently bought the 15 inch MacBook Pro with touch bar. Now the ports are only the USB Type-C ones on both sides and I needed to put in my USB hard drives, my SD cards. So those ports are now missing. So I wanted to quickly give you a review on this device that I've just bought. It's called a Sinstar Multi-Port Hub Adapter. I'll leave a link in the description below from where you can buy this on Amazon. Just wanted to give you guys a quick review on this one. I've had a look at many of these types of adapters that fit into the USB Type-C slots. But just go ahead and give you a review of this and let's see how this one functions. Right, let's go ahead and open the box. So this one is Sinstar Type-C USB. Let's go ahead and take this out. Now that is very light, I have to admit. Let's have a look at the ports. Now, you have the two Thunderbolt USB Type-C ports here. You have the two USB 2.0 ports, an SD card port and a micro SD card port. And then on the end here, you have a HDMI port as well. Now, some of the ones I've seen on Amazon and other places online come with only one Thunderbolt USB Type-C adapter to your MacBook Pro. So this comes with two, it gives a little bit more power, it allows it to be more sturdy, more stable once you've connected it to your MacBook. So let's go ahead and have a look here. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect this in to the left hand side here. Now it fits quite tightly actually, it's not, it's not fiddly, it doesn't move around. That's primarily because there's two USB Type-C ports there that connect to it. And one thing I like is that there's a little light indicator here to show that it's connected and it's working. You have the first Thunderbolt port here. You see there's a little lightning icon on the top there. That allows you to connect your laptop charger into the first port there and charge your laptop through this device, which I know that some of the other devices don't. So that's a real good plus point there. The one thing that I think is missing is the ethernet port. And one thing I would really love is if they had a headphone jack in on an adapter like this as well. Reason being is because I always prefer the headphones to be on the left side of the laptops. I know it's on the right hand side at the moment. It's not too big of an issue, but it's personal preferences to everyone that's using it really. Overall, I think it's really good. I'll give it a solid eight out of 10. The other two out of 10, I think is because of the price. It's not a cheap adapter. It does retail about 75 pounds, and I think it's pretty much expensive than a lot of the other adapters that you might find. But to be honest, I've got this in Space Gray. It matches with the Space Gray on my MacBook. It looks good, it's very compact, it's easy to take with you. And I think it's like the perfect accessory for every person who has a MacBook Pro Touch Bar Edition. So this retails around 75 pounds on Amazon. It's, it's not the cheapest. I think there's a lot more out there that you can get. I'll give you a link in the description below for the one that is including of an ethernet port as well as all the other ports that you see on this one. It's a little bit cheaper, the only difference is it's bigger and it connects via a wire, it doesn't stick against the laptop. I think this one is perfect because it's connected right exactly against your MacBook and I don't think it's very noticeable from far away that you, you've got wires coming out of everywhere so that's a real big plus point for me. Alright guys, thanks for watching, that was just a quick review on this uh, multi-port adapter. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, otherwise give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, make sure to subscribe and I will catch you guys next time.